Well, we have a good stuff today t uh, for you. We have some Town Hall 11 Bowler attacks. Now, this is the pre-update version, so the mine, uh, the healers will not be triggered. Uh, but that's okay. I've still seen a lot of bowler walks and these bowler mass bowler strategies, even uh, after the update. So pretty cool stuff at that. Let's see how we go here. Now, why are we going to come in from this side first? Well. The main thing is you can do either side. Uh, I think either side is fine in this attack. Obviously you're going to get to the core using a jump spell and then the second jump spell to get to the second inferno tower and that's the real key. So uh, either side is fine. He chose to come in on this side and that's fine. Some people prefer different uh, places on the map to attack from. I understand that it feels better to attack from one area rather than another. Uh, so pretty standard at uh, attack from here. You could tell though a lot of his bowlers went around the outside bases so the funnel could have actually been a lot better in the sense of uh, more bowlers in the core because you'll find out very quickly there's not quite many bowlers in the core and because of that danger can arise so look at the healers over there to the west very nicely done he's got two heals on them with a bunch of bowlers that will take care of the king now if you noticed if the king had been gone to the core those the uh, the army key, uh, the king in the middle and the bowlers and the grand warden would have drifted towards the west compartment and not hit the inferno tower if you notice that closely so pretty fortunate there because I've seen this base before and the heroes on the side compartments distract the attacking army um, and they won't go to that uh, second inferno tower and if the second inferno tower does not go down uh, like it did that quickly this would have not been a successful attack uh, so those little things like the AI there though you can't foretell that and that really becomes into well, sometimes luck you can tell uh, you know a lot of luck involved um, so I've seen fails on this exact same base because of that the heroes on the side compartment so again you, as I said I, I did a video you can't three-star every base uh, it just can't be done and so you know sometimes the AI goes for you so if you fail don't worry guys you know it's okay I fail all the time I know you failed a lot so it's not that big of a deal and sometimes it's out of your control it really is I mean you, you, you can't do anything about it you do your best you plan your best and you attack and then something happens the queen goes round and around or, or, or your bowlers get distracted or who knows what uh, you happen you know all your uh, Valkyries hit the double giant bomb instead of the golem triggering it so those little things add up to not getting that three star so stick in there keep going for it because you know any youtuber I, I, I like showing uh, failed attacks I know in this raid I'm doing a lot of three stars but I've brought a lot of videos of failed attacks because I think fails are much better more realistic at that so again this base attacker is pretty pretty good stuff here doing the same sort of bowler uh, mass bowler strategy what you have going for you, you have bowlers on the either side it's pretty easy to execute bowlers on either side and then the core of the bowlers and the center now the main difference in making these succeed and not in my opinion are the jump spell so already guys jump spells can last over a minute he needs to already have placed those down so very poorly executed you can place the jump spells down extremely quick um, and that way uh, you don't have to worry about it in the middle of the raid they'll last a long time so be sure to do that don't don't put your jump spells in the middle of the raid um, because the max jump spell lasts uh, I think over a minute the 40 seconds a minute and 30 seconds or something like that I know it's over a minute I think it's 90 seconds possibly so on this attack very well executed you know this base is definitely bowler strategy used because the thing is uh, you got to understand that in these type of bases you have um, not many compartments uh, for the bowlers to get distracted I mean, they're compartments but they're not like long corridors what really makes bowlers hurt are these long corridor sections and so when they get into the section um, you will you know it, it'll fail uh, and they'll get distracted too long uh, so just be aware of that when you're building some uh, town hall 11 bases I know um, 
There's a lot of different Town Hall 11 base designs. So again, just bringing you three star attacks. I know y'all have seen this uh, strategy before. This is nothing new. I'm only bringing this because, you know, it's, it's fun to watch three star attacks here and there. There's different strategies. On this one, you can tell he brought like seven or eight bowlers with those healers. That's usually not the way you do it but he chose to do it this way and that's okay um, it actually worked out you can tell perfectly funneled right towards that in front of tower but look already have the jump spell down you need to already have that down because the slight minuscule second that the king or some of the bowlers hesitate that makes and breaks attacks so have those jump spells down already guys uh, before you even go into the raid they will last a long time so no need to worry about that and, you know again this is sort of the compartments i was talking about where you have uh, on the uh, east side all that that kind of corridor where the bowlers would split up it's very helpful if the bowlers can split up and especially now with the miners with the air traps uh targeting healers it really makes a difference if you want if the bowlers split because if the bowlers split that gives you a better chance of getting uh not getting three starred uh just because uh, obviously the more clumped up the your units are it's uh, harder for uh defensive units to take them down there are some great three-play strategies for you. I know you've seen it before. So anyways, thanks again, guys, for sticking around to the end. Uh, I know this was not like a new video and a special something special, but it's okay. You know, sometimes you just need to see some three-star action and just get a better understanding of how it works and what goes on. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you next time. Halo out.